So before we get into this vlog, I wanted to do a jaw surgery update because I realized it's been three months already now since I had jaw surgery. So I'll do just, you know, a bit of an update. So it's been three months and I finally hit a point where I don't feel as swollen. I feel like I do like my face more now. I don't, you know, fully think it's back to normal still. To me, it still does look a little swollen, but I finally can take photos and stuff and not be like, oh my God, I've made a terrible mistake. I'm so ugly now, because that is how I felt before. One thing that really helped was doing lymphatic drainage massages. If you follow these vlogs, you probably saw me doing that. Um, I found a really good one on Instagram. It's on at Detox by Rebecca's Instagram highlight. You essentially like touch some pressure points and then you do these movements 20 times each. And it actually made a really big difference, I think, in getting that swelling down to the point where I looked more like myself again. I'm not in any pain. I got, I've gotten a lot of questions about that. It's not painful anymore. I can eat pretty much anything. Like I can attempt to eat pretty much anything. Um, things that are really hard, like a carrot, for example, it just, that is a little painful and I can't really fully eat that. But most things, sandwiches, pizza, chips even. I feel like I could actually eat a burger, but I would just have to eat it a little awkwardly slowly because I can't really open my mouth as wide as I used to be able to quite yet. They have been kind of measuring it in how many fingers you can like fit stacked into your mouth and I can almost fit three. That feels very wide to me. So I have to stretch it every day just to try and get the full mobility back. I'm getting an Invisalign scan tomorrow. Hopefully they'll be able to actually get the scan all through my mouth this time. As far as the feeling, I feel like I've gotten a lot more feeling back in my face and movement here. Like I can move like that. Even just a couple weeks ago, that was kind of painful to do and I couldn't really do it. I will say I do still feel pretty stiff. My nose still feels stiff and it's mostly just up here that feels stiff. Like as if there's like something there. Yeah, I don't know. It's very weird. I'm still a little numb on my chin. It's like if I touch it, I feel like it's just an odd sensation of being kind of numb, but I can kind of feel it. This is where it's the most numb. My bottom lip is a little bit numb. Um, I've gotten people ask if it feels weird to kiss and you know, between COVID and jaw surgery, I'm not kissing anyone. So yeah, I don't know, but I would assume it would feel kind of weird because yeah, I can't fully feel my bottom lip, but I'll have to get back to you on that. Um, hopefully though, I will have full feeling back in my mouth by then. It's really just like this area that's a little bit numb. The top left of the roof of my mouth is still a little bit numb. Although I do feel like that's gotten more feeling back even this past week. And my gums are a little numb. So like when I floss my teeth on my upper teeth, sometimes I can't feel my gums. It's really weird, but honestly, it's kind of nice. So you can see I can move this area more, but still not fully back to normal. It still feels a little stiff. Here is how the profile of my face looks. I feel like my nose still looks a little bit wide, but less upturned. It doesn't bother me as much. I'm not sure if I've just gotten used to it or if the swelling has gone down. I do, I, I just feel like swollen here. Um, but honestly, I don't mind it. It just looks like I got some kind of cheek fillers. Like people pay to get this look, some people. Although like, I think it looks a little, a little weird for my face, but I don't fully mind it. Honestly, I think I look fine. Most people would like have never known I had jaw surgery at this point. So I feel like I'm really past it. Time is flying by. I can eat whatever basically. And I'm starting the Invisalign journey. I mean, that's nothing. That's nothing compared to jaw surgery. I'm not at all concerned about getting Invisalign. I'm sure that will be fine. I do get a little paranoid and kind of worried that my bite might already be relapsing because in the back, the teeth aren't aligning how they were before. You can see there's a bit of a gap there. I'm not really sure why. I'm hoping that it's not relapsing because I've heard that can happen to people. I mean, probably not. It's just probably something that the Invisalign has to sort out. So I'm not too worried about it at this point. But that is my jaw surgery update three months later. Feeling way better, still a little stiff. Um, so I don't feel like fully, fully healed yet, but pretty much, pretty much healed, so. It, it's good now. 
Okay, on to the vlog. Ordering groceries online. They can deliver by 1 p.m. That is so crazy. So it's like free delivery by 1 p.m. Inauguration day. I'm like just finished editing my vlog just in time for this. He's telling Monica, Monica, can we get a house update for the day? Um, they're doing electrical work today, and I'll be vlogging on my channel if you want to see. <laughs> this is weird bug. Dude, Any weird changes bug. to the yard yet? I'm not really. All of the ficus is in now. Nice. So even the side yard has it? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, I'm working on the thumbnail for my reasons you should not buy a Tesla video. So here we have it so far. I'm just gonna add some text, maybe move myself around, brighten things. We'll see. Alright guys, I got fresh lashes. Um, and I got a package from Revolve. I get so excited when they send stuff. So let's check out what we got. The stuff I picked is very like Palm Springsy, so it'll be really good for, for Palm Springs. First up, I already know I'm gonna love. Okay, wow, this color. This is just a dress. I feel like this will be really, really cute in Palm Springs or honestly anywhere. Super easy to throw on. I don't have anything this color and I think it's so fun. So this is a hoodie that's kind of cropped, super cute. And I know it's a little like basic, like what, just a white hoodie, but it has matching shorts, which I think will be a very cute look. It looks so good on the model, the outfit. I feel like I'm gonna wear this all the time. Next we've got, it's just a plain white tank top, but it's like the perfect texture and the straps are adjustable. A black crop top and this has a matching black short. Here are the shorts. I feel like the shorts from Revolve run a little bigger. So I got the extra small, but then like a small top. So there we have it. Then I just got some jeans. <laughs> yeah, the ripped. I'm gonna try and be careful with these ripped, not let them get crazy. This is a romper kind of wrap dress. Yeah, I feel like I'll have to put this on for you guys to see, but it looks really cool and like a little more dressed up. Not as casual, but I feel like we'll be. I just like the color of this top. Um, I feel like these kinds of tops don't always look that good on me, but I loved the color of it. So I was like, we'll see. <laughs> this is a plain gray top that goes with um, like a matching set that I already have. So now I can wear them all together. Then we've got this super cozy long cardigan. Wow, it's so soft. I love this. It's very like comfy, casual, but cute because it's like a matching set. Very cozy. I feel like this might be my favorite thing because it's just so soft. Now I'm just gonna gonna get ready really quickly. I'm gonna try and record some of a video about investing today for my main channel. So I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a while and that is write a Medium article. That's something I want to do more of in 2021 because in 2020, for the time investment, it was probably the most profitable thing I did. I made a lot on Medium and I didn't spend that much time doing it. I've kind of let it slide on the back burner, but I have a lot of videos I could turn into articles and I should really do that. So that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, I was just in the zone. Um, I finished the um, article. Here it is. I had actually started this a long time ago and just never finished it. So it didn't take me as long to write this one, but yeah, now it's ready to be published. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna send it to one of the publications. Since it's kind of tech related, I'm gonna send it to the One Zero publication. They've published a few of my stories before. So I would, assume that they probably would want to do this one too. I haven't really looked at it in a while, um, but I'll show you guys because they'll do get paid a bit from that despite not having really published much in the past few months. For the month of January, I haven't gotten a ton of views on anything. 
and I've made $86. So not a whole lot because I just haven't been that active with it. Here we can see in December, I made about 300, November 600, October 1000, September 1000. And I hadn't posted at all these months. This was just, you know, some residual income from what I had already posted. It was obviously a lot more back in May when I was like active on here. Yeah, I wanna post on there more. Follow me on Medium if you guys are on there. <sighs> okay, so I've been planning out the investing video that I'm doing. I went through my Robinhood account and found the top 10 stocks that I picked. And so you'll be able to see that in the video. So Tesla was number two. So number one, you might be like, oh. Yesterday's tacos were so good and just love to support a small business. So that's why I'm going to get food, not because I'm too lazy to make dinner. Oh, that would not be it. Because I like supporting small businesses. Duh. Okay, it's a cauliflower taco with buffalo sauce. And God, it is just so good. All right, good morning, you guys. I already worked out and everything. Got semi ready for the day. Today, I am finally gonna look at the OnlyFans documentary video again and figure out what exactly I need to do to get it done. Aaron <laughs> just came up with the best life hack for editing faster, and now I'm using it. We're editing like an hour and a half of footage, and I was like listening to this and I was like, oh, this is so slow. And then I realized, mm -hmm. something, I mean, cause you can do it on YouTube too. I don't know if you ever do this. You can like oh, watch yeah, things on YouTube in 1.5 speed. And I do that like with like the credit card videos and I stuff. Like too. I'll put them on in the background and yeah. I'm like listening to it. But in Final Cut, you can speed things up. So I'm listening to like this interview at like 1.6 or 160 times the speed. Yeah. Not 160, 160%. So it's like sped up so that you can like edit it. So an hour clip, it's you'll so do it in like, 40 minutes. I was thinking the other day, I was like, I wish I could play back and edit in like double speed. Why mm -hmm. can't you do that? I didn't realize you just have to put it in the timeline. Yeah. If you're editing and say final cut, you can take this whole clip, put it down here, retime it to be faster. That's four times fast. So that's really, really fast. But like every year in Vegas. Yeah, and I got to edit that last year, so that was really cool. I'm gonna edit tomorrow's vlog that way, <laughs> and I'll time myself and see, because I timed myself editing a vlog like a week or two ago, and it took me an hour, so what if I could cut that down to like 30 minutes? That would be crazy. I, I just got to the dentist, finally getting my teeth cleaned. I haven't gotten them cleaned like since before jaw surgery, so they deaf need it. What's kind of nice about getting your teeth cleaned after jaw surgery is you're kind of numb. So I couldn't even feel parts of it. You know, sometimes it's like pokey and a little, little bit painful, but I couldn't feel a lot of it. So that was nice. So I am back in my room now. I set up fully to um, shoot a little bit of the invest with me video and all four of my camera batteries are dead for my GH5 and I totally forgot the charger in Palm Springs. And I actually just switched cars. I have a tandem parking spot. I just switched cars so I'm now parked in. So I'm like, the lighting honestly is not that good right now anyway. So it's like 4.30, like the sun's about to go down basically. I like so badly just wanna record it now because I set this thing up, but um, it's a sign to do it when there's better lighting. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Okay, I just finished recording this video. It feels weird because I don't have a ton of B-roll or anything for this video because I'm just investing on my phone. I don't even know what B-roll you would get for that. I feel like it would just be weird and pointless to add a lot of B-roll to this video. So it's more of a sit down video, but I think people that are like actually interested in investing don't care about B-roll, so it's fine. But yeah, I'm gonna make some lunch, edit it, put the light away. Ghost town. So I've come to work at Psycho Home today. I haven't been here in forever. Um, and they have tighter COVID guidelines. You can like only work in the pods. So I'm going to find Lauren. She's in a pod. Okay, got a bunch of editing done. Feel like I'm more productive and focused here. And now I'm gonna go try and get my teeth scanned again for Invisalign. I miss this place and all its plants. And try beating out your nose for a bit, okay? Okay. Open a little bigger. Okay. 
stuff. Okay, the scan worked this time. Woo! I also got an impression for a temporary retainer for the top that I'm gonna pick up tomorrow. So I will have a temporary one because they had that weird little bond thing and they want to make sure nothing moves, like just extra make sure. The Invisalign takes six weeks to get here. So now they can order it. So it's kind of crazy that I got the surgery and now it's like, it's been three months, but I still have another six weeks before I actually start the Invisalign because you have to heal enough to be able to open your mouth that wide. Um, but yeah, now I can, you know, kind of start that process soon. And that'll be good. I mean, I'm not really like that as concerned about the Invisalign because I feel like my teeth still look straight and everything. It's more so to make sure it aligns like properly. Like I can feel how it like isn't quite aligned in certain areas, but like you would never know, you know, it's like, it just looks fine. All right, heading home.